All right, there we go. Good morning, bedheads and sleepy breads. Welcome back to the Thursday sleepover, where today we're going to be playing some Night in the Woods. Fair warning ahead of time, much like the title says, I am uh, deprived of sleep today, so I am very, very tired. Hello, Cobalt. Oh, uh, congratulations, uh, Scottish Cat in Hat. Brian and Blue for first, second, and third, respectfully. And hello, Scottish Cat and Hat. Hello, Brian. Hello, Blue. Hello, Cobalt. How are you guys doing today? I'm going to be a little bit tired and disoriented today, so be prepared for that. But I will take that hydrate and that stretch. They will probably be very helpful. Thank you, Cobalt. How is everybody's Thursday going so far? I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that that is not being picked up by my microphone. All right, we're gonna reach for the skies. And we're gonna reach to the right. Oh, excuse me. Then we're gonna reach for the left. And then we're gonna reach back. And then we're gonna shake out our wrists. And then we're going to wiggle our feet. There we go. Oh. Yes. I have no topics to talk about today. I am a, uh, an unslept mess who is way too close to his microphone right now. I don't know. I woke up. I did have a bit of a productive day, honestly. No garden updates. Uh, I don't know if there's much of a garden update, Blue, besides the ones that I've already posted on my Discord shameless plug. Um, Will in the woods. Hello, Disc, how's it going? Yeah, this morning I... So I tried to sleep. I basically failed to sleep, so I got up and was like, my pepper plants are just not growing. And I'm frustrated by this. So, me and a friend were, like, looking some stuff up, and it was like, oh, it could be a light issue. Like, it could actually be that they don't have enough light. So, I'm like, well, what if I uh, transplant them so that I can... So, Larcy, hello! Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello, everybody. Oh, God. Bells isn't here yet, so I have to do it all by myself. But yeah, how was Genshin Impact? I popped in for a little bit earlier. And hello, Don, Zep, Zepteron? Am I saying that correctly? I hope I'm saying that correctly. But yes, hello everybody. For those who don't know, my name is Will Sleeps Not. You may call me Will, you may call me Sleeps, you may call me Will Sleeps Not. I am an insomniatic, very big emphasis on that one, dyslexic ADHD VTuber who plays a variety of games, and on Saturdays, I usually do art. If that sounds appealing to you, then by all means, sit back, relax, get comfortable, and enjoy yourself. And if not, thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope that you have a rest of your a good rest of your day. It was good. I checked off another story quest that, I, uh, that I'm terribly behind at, but... If it's gone, so if you finished it, Solarcy, that means that's one less thing that you need to do. You're slowly making progress. And how are you, by the way, Solarcy? I hope that you're doing well. I'm going to be very disoriented today, so... Raiders, be prepared. I am, uh... <laughs> but yes, I was just talking about my little... I'm very sleepy. Oh my god, Solarcy, I feel ya. I feel ya. I think I had a total of, of uh, five hours today, and they were separated between two hours of really terrible sleep over the course of four hours. Five hours, sorry, five hours. And then a two-hour nap that led to, like, another hour, which didn't do a whole lot. But I gotta hype myself up for the four-day week conference this week. Oh, God. So, Larcy, are you gonna be okay? Are you being kidnapped? Are you being kidnapped against your will? Are they just, like, mandatory weekend work? And you're like, but I do things on the weekend. And they're like, not anymore, you don't. 
if you want to keep your job. This is against my will. I knew it. But I will be there. I don't think you have a choice, Solaris, if you want to keep your employment in the hypothetical that we're creating at the moment. Ugh. But yeah, I was just talking about between the two small sleeps what I was doing, which was gardening, because I have a tiny little balcony garden, which is just consisting of like one like big pot with potatoes in it, and then three like crate looking I don't say like kind of like crate looking things that I have a bunch of plants in. But yeah, like my pepper plants weren't growing and I was very confused. I'm like, why are they not growing? So a friend of mine and I were looking it up and it's like, huh, all the symptoms are pointing towards not enough sunlight. So I like kind of look at the box and I'm like, well, the box isn't full. You know, like the, there's kind of like a lip between the bottom of the dirt and the top. And that's about where the pepper plants have reached to. So I'm like, well, what if we raise the dirt? So I took all the pepper plants out really carefully, of course, cut, put more dirt into the box, and then like really carefully put them back in. So it's like, all right, now we're going to see if that was the case or if I did damage beyond comprehension. <laughs> and then while I was at it, I was like, well, the tomatoes need like a mesh to grow again. So let's just implement that too. Just like, yeah, let's just do that. So I just spent like an hour and a half, I think it was like an hour and a half gardening. Just earbuds in, listening to a podcast. Just being like, up, 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 putting the little poles in, tying the poles down, etc. So hopefully that both helps the tomatoes and the peppers. Because like the lettuce is doing great. And the potatoes, I don't know how the potatoes are skyrocketing out of the ground. I don't know. I don't know how that works. They're just like, yeah, 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 we just gain, like, two inches every day. And I'm like, I don't know. If I had a camera, I would point it at this freaking, at, like, this pot and just film it. Because clearly you can watch them grow in real time. <laughs> and yeah, Solarcy, I do a little bit of gardening. I've wanted to do a balcony garden for a while. I did a little bit last year. I had two pepper plants and a strawberry plant. The strawberry plant did not do well, unfortunately. It gave me uh, two strawberries and then never gave me strawberries again. But the pepper plants gave me like, ooh, what was it, like 12 reasonable sized peppers? Oh yeah, fragsberry and, uh, and pepperoni, of course. Except for pepperoni was technically two separate... Straw pepper plants. <laughs> Love the idea of like the inside, the outside looks like a pepper, but when you open it up, just a bunch of straw falls out of it. It's like, oh, that's not edible. <laughs> Done quite a bit of horticulture. But forgot to but forget to water plant Solarcy. That's a really important step that you're missing. Have you considered just make putting like a timer on your phone, on like literally like you know like on Wednesdays and Sundays at like I don't know four or five p.m. It's just like pip pip pip, and you're like oh water the plants, bip, 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 bip. just water them twice a week, just a. You don't even have to be generous depending on the plant. A lot of plants can just be like, yeah, 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 I just need, you know, like just a little spittle essentially. Timers stopped working for me. Not timers, alarms. When the alarm goes off, you go, oh, what's that? I used to, but no longer. So, Larcy, you need, you need new, you need to use alarms. Alarms are good. I try to use alarms. Sometimes they work. <laughs> Except for the watering the plants. Just every day I just go out there and check the plants and check to see how dry the soil is. Because, I don't know, a mixture of like farming background and taking horticulture in high school, which I really enjoyed. Which was a very irritating class because 
probably about 80%. I can snooze them without even looking at my phone. Well, keep your phone further away from you, you silly goof. But yeah, my horticulture class, like about 80% of the class was just people who wanted to learn about hydroponics to grow their own weed. And they were all just annoying dipshits. The few people that did care were definitely uh, the ones who were punished the most for the rest of them being there because they were distractive and talked a lot and were... Just all around very annoying. <laughs> like, they were the ones that when we were, like, halfway through the semester, it was like, oh, we're actually allowed to go and do some horticulture. Like, we're allowed to do some landscaping in the sense of, like, lightly trimming, like, some of the, the school's, like, gardens so the, or, like, you know, like, the, the, the flower gardens so that we could uh, test it out. Because, like, we learned about, you know, where to cut. I got to drive a gator... Well, la di da, Solarcy. We got to go outside with like hedge clippers and take and like just like regular like what do you call it? Just like the little clippers. I don't know what the heck they're called anymore. But like, yeah, we were just like the like five of us that cared were like trying to like carefully prune this one flower because we were at, or like this one like. It wasn't a rose bush. I can't remember what kind of plants it was, but we were like really carefully like going around it and like checking for spots and looking for dead branches and removing them. And then at one point we're like almost done. And then one of the dipshits comes up with like one of the big hedge trimmers and just goes like, well, this is a problem. And just like severs off like four perfectly healthy stems. And the five of us just stared at them in disbelief. Just like, why did you do that? You didn't even have to do this. You could have just done what you were doing, which was fucking off, you know, it around the school and not doing your work. If you had just not done that, if you had just done what you were doing, which was nothing, this plant would have been better off. But no, you had to be a freaking, oh, look, I can do stuff too. <sighs> I wanted to hit them aggressively. But I couldn't, because I would be the one who got in trouble for that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Blue. I am far more tired than normal, so my filters are a little bit more removed than usual. But good God. Oh my God, that guy. Oh, that guy. Just needed a smack across the back of the head more often than not. You know, words didn't work on that guy. For legal reasons, that is a joke. For social and ethical reasons, that is a joke. Can't see it, but I'm giving a thumbs up. That guy sounds like a douche. Oh, you have no idea, Brian. You have no idea. That guy was in a couple of my classes. I think I've told this story in class before, but he was one of the guys that our teacher, like, gave, like, Welder's Flash to. Because he was one of the guys who would not pay attention in class. And our teacher was talking about magnesium. And told us several times. Do not look directly at magnesium when it is burned. Because it, it creates like an arc like a, an arc flash. Which will severely hurt your eyes. And then she said it again. And then she said it again. And then she went to her desk. Held up the magnesium. And said do not look at this. When I light it. Because it will hurt your eyes. And she turned off the lights. And all of a sudden the people who weren't paying attention. All went. Oh, what's happening? And then she lit the magnesium. And they all stared at it. Because they are dumb. <laughs> Need to finish packing. But I made the mistake of lying down. Finish packing. Oh for the weekend. Wait how. How much stuff do you need Solarcy? Don't you just need like a change of clothes? And, like, some general, um, how to say it, like, hygiene products, like, you know, like a toothbrush and toothpaste. And I don't know if you have, like, a special conditioner or something. I guess you can take that along, too. Sounds like someone I knew in school. He was also kind of an idiot. Yeah, don't get me wrong. People like that, I understand, will change over time. 
It's a four-day conference that we're hosting with rich people. So, Larcy, you are saying the wrong words to the wrong person. I don't... I've never met nor, like, dealt with rich people before. So... Also, I don't host very often. And when I do host, it's with people that I know and I'm friends with. So, I have no idea what you would need to pack for. Neither do I. What could go wrong? Just dress in the most Friday, you know, like casual Friday style everywhere you go. And just make super inappropriate jokes all the time. Hello, Vitrify. Thank you for stopping by. How are you? Just make inappropriate jokes. <gasps> Talk about the submarine situation, right? Or the submersible situation right now. And just start making commentary about, like, but, like, is it really that big of a loss, though? <laughs> you know? Just, just start saying the most, like, things that rich people wouldn't like hearing. <laughs> just start talking about, like, social safety nets and, like, how... Uh, the upper classes should be taxed more in order to ensure that the lower classes can live more comfortably. How you look forward to the day when, uh, when UBI is a thing so that there, the taxings on the rich will finally, that the, like, you know, that the Ronald Reagan trickle-down economics will finally become a real and true thing. This whole plan is really imploding on itself. What do you mean? This is the perfect idea, Vitrify. You're talking to rich people. Tell them things that rich people don't like to hear. And then they'll eventually go, E gods! And then they'll fall over from a momentary fainting spell as a magical fainting couch appears nearby. And during that time, you take their wallet and you steal the, like, weird $100,000 that they have in there. And you put it towards charity and welfare. And you make the world a better place. <laughs> That whole plan kind of imploded. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Vitrify. I am very not on the ball right now. But yeah. 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 I can't go down that road because it's a very morbid topic, but I do have thoughts about it. And curiosities, mostly. But yeah, we're not going to go down that road. Because even in my incredibly sleep-deprived uh, sleep state, I understand this is not a topic that people want to hear. Especially the things that I'm thinking about right now. So instead, uh, Solarcy, have yourself a good luck with the packing. Please get up and pack your stuff. Because I presume tomorrow is when you leave. So please, for the love of God, for the sake of your, you know, for the sake of future Solarcy. Finish packing whatever it is that you think you might need to pack. Tomorrow at 8 a.m. Oh my god, please finish packing, Solarcy. Wait, like you have to be there at 8 a.m.? In which case you need to be there probably before? Blue, no, you're giving bad advice. Stop it. Solarcy probably has to be out the door by 7 knowing, but knowing what she needs to do. Or suspecting what she needs to do, I think, is the better. I will be on the tr on the train at 8 a.m. Ah, gotcha. So 7 a.m., wake up, breakfast, coffee, uh, leave the house, come back to the house because forgot bag full of stuff that you packed, leave house again, get to train, realize you forgot wallet, cry at the train station <laughs> wait do you are you serious are the people that you're dealing with have private helicopters are you serious right now oh my god no i can't be on this topic i'm i'm fueled by bitterness and spite that's not a good but this is not i'm being so serious ah! oh we're going to play some Night in the Woods. I think that's a good idea. We're going to go play Night in the Woods because I am... 
charged in the not correct way right now. But yeah, Solarcy, good luck. Be brave. Don't fall in. Poison their food. For legal reasons, that was a joke. <laughs> we're gonna play the game. We're gonna play the game. We're gonna play the game. Look, we were supposed to talk to Greg. You guys remember that, right? <laughs> Did I mention that this is like day five of bad sleep? So yeah, I'm sorry. <gasps> Flossie, you didn't hear anything, but also hello Flossie, how are you? I hope that your day is going well. Man, this really is one of those days. Like, I remember when we when I was talking with Kaju yesterday that it's just like, you know, like, spend your money and time on other places like right now that is very much my thought just like why are any of you here go watch kaju or something i'm just like an unslept ball of just <laughs> of bitterness <laughs> but yeah hey flossy how's it going i hope that you're doing well today i hope that the week is treating you well Please pray for Solarcy because she's going to be dealing with <laughs> There was a Once upon a time I got to go to the Netherlands as a tourist instead of as visiting family So we were like yeah let's go to some places you know like let's go to like because I want to go to some history museums and you know, like, wanted to visit, like, this uh, World War II memorial in Germany. And uh, then it was like, oh, we're also going to go to, you know, to Amsterdam. And we're going to take one of those, like, canal tours. And um, the, the guy who was the canal tour guide and also the pilot was a fantastic, like, dry-humored man. And it was wonderful. Like, he spoke fluent English. And he just kind of did the, like, um, you know, just like, up next, we're going to be traveling past this area. This is where this and this was happening, and also where you could find this. This place is now this, but it used to be, oh, this, this is uh, one of the largest oaks for old folks' home, homes in, uh, in Amsterdam. It used to be a mental hospital. You know, like that kind of thing, like very just like monotone but there's this part where we went through this area that was clearly like the wealthier area and we're just going and he's just like this is um i don't remember which street it was but he's like this is so and so street this is home to some of the richest this is home this is what people would call the rich district it's home to bankers you know to bankers and other criminals <laughs> Everybody got a good laugh out of that. I don't think there was a single person in that boat that didn't laugh at that joke. <laughs> anyway. And how am I besides sleepy? Uh, that is my entire state, Flossie. I am tired, but determined to at least do two hours. If I can make it. And then afterwards... Afterwards, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have a to-do list, but I don't think it's gonna get done. It's one of those wonderful things, right? Where, like, you have a to-do list. And then... Stuff happens to make it that you can't... Do the to-do list because you're either too tired or you literally just are like... No, this actually requires, like, focus and I have just... I'm just incapable of focus. And then you're just like, all right, well, I'll do it tomorrow, you know, plus this one thing that I need to do tomorrow. And then you sleep bad again, and you're just like, oh, no, the list is getting bigger, and I'm not able to do anything with it. Seven-hour nap. Some that doesn't work, Flossy. Last night, I was really tired, and I even freaking got high, because normally that's my way to, like, really knock myself out for a few hours. And, like... For five hours, I would just keep snapping awake from just, like, random things. The first one was, like, the sound of somebody, like, humming in the same room as me. So that was unsettling. 
You know, just the idea of just somebody with like a baritone voice just being like, mm -hmm. you're just like, oh, what is happening? What? what? Oh God, <laughs> I'm far too high to defend myself. <laughs> Well, if he's in the room, so be it, you know. I accept my fate, roll over, and try to go back to sleep. <laughs> Not a healthy attitude, but, you know. You got to approach it the only way that you know how. With acceptance. You know what? You know what, uh, what is it? My Little Pony Friendship and Magic taught us. Friendship is magic. Taught us love and tolerance. There's this dude in my room. I'm gonna love and tolerate the heck out of him by going back to sleep and hoping that whatever his plans are are not nefarious and simply he was just like, I can't believe I managed to get Will Brony confirmed. Oh, I watched a fair bit of um, MLP back in the day. Uh, Solarcy was a good show. Had good animation. Had a decent story for a kid's show. Like, the characters were enjoyable up until a certain point, until they got uh, the Flanderization. The Flander. Uh... Oh, dang it, I can never say this word. Flanderization, I think is what the word. There it is, it is Flanderization. Effect. Like, Pinkie Pie just became like. I just couldn't tolerate Pinkie Pie after, after like, season five. After season five, it was, like, to hell with this. Like, I just can't anymore. She went from being just, like, the, the, the high-energy, bubbly friend to, like, creepy. You know, like, high-energy, creepy, just really in your face with her just like ha 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 bounce 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 and it's just like I'm gonna need you to you know what I'm just gonna turn the screen off there we go it was to be honest yes it was and the movies were good too yes they were I haven't seen any of the newest movies I only saw the uh what is it like when they're in high school as like humans and they're like trying to find uh oh what was her name again like sunfire i think was her name maybe something along those lines <laughs> star bright no she was definitely a sun themed individual but regardless yeah the show was good it had very good it has some great scenes i think it's season fours uh, two-parter finale has, like, a Dragon Ball Z-esque fight that's actually really, really good. <laughs> like, a genuinely good fight scene. And I'm just like, ah, shit, dude! Uh, was only... Saw a little bit of MLP back in the 80s. Oh, no, Brian, we're talking about, uh... We're talking about the new one that was, like, 2000 and... Like, mm, when did that start? 2014? That was the specifically My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Like, it had some meh episodes. It had some good episodes. I enjoy, like, I remember Iron Will. Like, Iron Will was a fantastic character. Uh, there was that one guy who, I don't remember if he actually had a name at the beginning, but he was the guy who was clearly roided out. He was the, like, really buff pony with, like, tiny wings, which was definitely an implying that he was doing steroids. And his whole dialogue was, Yeah! Like, that's all he did. That was his whole thing. <laughs> Why? Well, yeah, he was... I think he gets, like, some dialogue later in, like, I think, like, season four. I believe, at least. Yeah, there's a whole lot of good episodes in it. It's totally worth a watch if you're interested in watching that kind of stuff. All right. Anyway, I'm rambling. I, you can't see it, but I'm pointing at the game. We're, we're going to do this. I, I can't remember, because I believe... 
there's one person that we can hang out with right now. And it's either Greg. I think. Hold on, let me let me talk to Greg for a second. So what's up? I'm just stopping by, gonna roll out, gonna head to band practice. Alright, I wanna do a quick run through the other characters. Later, bruh. I'm gonna check the other characters really quick just to make sure that I'm not missing something, which I'm pretty sure we did before, but just let me have this, okay? Let me have this. Hey Mandalorian, how's it going? Just let me have this. Also, it. Wait. Thank you for 28 wonderful years, Possum Springs. Love, Saul and Jan. That's such a shame. Hold on. Angus? Okay, can't talk to Angus. Perfect. No, it is this way. Wait, is it? Or did I pass it? I don't remember. Party barn for sale. There it is. Boom. Oh, B. No, already talked to B. All right. We are completely caught up, which means that we're going to go talk to Greg and do band practice, which means I have to do coordination things. Oh. I'm doing well. Found out I can play Red Dead 2 in VR with a mod, so I'm going to get that mad tomorrow oh my god good luck my dude don't get nauseous because that sounds like it has the potential to make you very very nauseous also started watching bot battles oh like the online stuff where people actually like design robots and fight each other one moment i'm sorry for the lack of music I am going to be incredibly distractible today, so please, if you have the patience, please have patience. If you do not have the patience, I fully understand, and, you know, good luck with the rest of your day. <laughs> Alright, so what's up? Uh, but it also has the potential to be awesome. Yeah, it's actually really cool. I haven't seen any of it. Mandalorian, but I'm aware of it. I saw a meme of it with a one group created, like, it was basically the robots would just try to knock each other over. And the one they built to, like, have, like, a ridiculous amount of torque in it. So it just could m snap to speed really fast. So it just, like, z as soon as the fight started, it would just go... Boom! Like, it was immediately behind them and just immediately flipped them. Like, it was just built completely with speed. With, like, speed and, like, an early victory in mind. One of them has a saw and it, like, saws the other bots in half. Why <laughs> car is that? Alright, I'm not... We're not thinking about the same thing, but we're, we're on... We're on the same... Uh, we're on a similar wavelength, just not on the exact one. But that's pretty neat, though. Alright. We're gonna head to band practice. Wait, why are you here? Alright, let's talk to this nerd first. Practice. Yes. I crashed my bike once and bro uh and a broken spoke went through my leg. Jeez. It was kinda cool. <laughs> oh yeah, I can see that. Alright, I forgot. He's kinda weird. I think his name is Germ, if I recall correctly. All right, Greg. Wait, can I get on stage? <gasps> I can. So, uh, when are we starting? Ask Greg. He usually is what, uh, he's usually what's holding us up or making us go faster. All purpose, Greg. Unto every time, a Greg. Music note. Music note. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, Gregorino. Let's go. All right, kids. I'm going to head out soon. What? Where are you going? Family stuff. Oh, okay. Just for a night. Okay, we doing this? 
Yeah, let's do this. Wait, I don't know the song. Like, at all. I better remember how to play bass. You'll be fine. I completely will not be fine. Zero self-confidence, huh? No, I just don't know the song. You stupid jerks. <laughs> oh, no. I don't even remember what buttons I'm supposed to click. Oh, God, it's numbers. Sorry, everyone, I will not be able to look at the... Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, my muscle memory is just non-existent. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, God. I wish the screen wouldn't shake. It makes it so much harder to realize where you're goofing. Oh my god, that was awful. <laughs> well, May, that was uh pretty bad is what that was. I literally don't know this song. Oh god, please don't make me have to do it again. Oh god. There was one here uh robot called Huge, and as the name suggests it was huge, it would literally just a pole with two wheels and a blade that spun really fast in the middle. Sounds dangerous. Looks like Guitar Hero basically is, Brian, but, uh... I'm not good at Guitar Hero. <laughs> nailed it. Yeah, I basically nailed it. Alright, who am I supposed to... Please don't make me do it again. Hey, hey, duder. Angus leaving for the night. Yeah, gonna be bored. Or rather, I would be bored if I didn't have plans. Plans. Crimes. Ooh, crimes. You up for some crimes? Hmm. Might be hanging up with Bay. Let me check with her first. Oh, no. Basically. Proud of yourself for that one, Flossie. <laughs> Hope my microphone even. A golf clap for me? Alright, one second. We need a poll. This is an important poll. Who would hang with? B. I don't even think I spelled that right. I did spell it wrong. Or Greg. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have one minute to decide the fate of this game or not. I don't know. I don't know how important this is, but like, you know, we have to make a choice. Are we hanging out with Gregory and doing crimes or are we hanging out with B and doing not crimes? The choice is yours. Because I don't remember anything the last time I played, so I don't recall who I hung out with during this time. I know I did a little bit of hanging out with Angus at one point because I wanted to learn more about Angus, but I don't remember any of it, so yay. 
The world is our oyster, chat. We get to decide where we go. We make the rules and when to break them. You guys are all butts. I just need you to know that you're all butts. Especially those that voted. Alright, fine. We'll leave it up to a dice roll. One, two, and three is B. Four, five, and six is Greg. Here we go. Well, one. We're hanging out with B today. Just kidding. It was a six. I lied to you just now. How do you feel? <laughs> Why am I like this? Why am I like this when I'm tired? <laughs> Ugh, all right. Yes, we are actually hanging out with Greg. I'm sorry that I've lied to you all like this. You got a head start on crimes. No fair. Look, Flossie, sometimes you got to get the practice in before the actual go, you know? You can't just expect to be good at something. You got to put the time and effort in. I'm doing it right now. I'm working on my freaking... On my lies. My capability to deceive. And clearly, it was working. All right. Definitely. Ow! Ow! <laughs> crimes. Oh, dear. Are we actually performing crimes? The heart of the uh, hometown. Oh, God. And they found him hard. Uh, and they found him out. Sorry. And they found him out in the back of the junkyard. That's upsetting. He's been there for a while. This is depressing. Really? I just thought it was super raw. No, I mean the abandoned food donkey. Oh, I know, huh? It was a shock. I think in second grade, we colored uh, pictures for Thanksgiving. And they were, like, food donkey themed. And they put them out. And they put them up on these windows. I remember that. It was a, d a donkey dressed up as a turkey. Yeah. Horrifying. Really, really, ho oh, sorry. Yeah, really, really horrible. What do they do with all the food? <laughs> Donkey tur turkeys got them. Donk Turks. Dern keys? Oh god, why would they try to do this? Good luck with the fly de demolition, uh, Mandalorian. So what are we doing here? Crimes. Okay, I'm double in now. I've been living too clean, May. Damn right. We run this town. Why don't we go in? E or hey! What the hell are you doing? I think I... Oh, I think I... Yeah, cool, I got his attention. What? Aw, oh, yeah, here he comes. Who? You don't know him, I don't think. Try me. Is this about to get bad? Oh, God, what is that smell? Glue. Oh, no, is that... Sup, ladies. Oh, God. This is probably not a good thing. Ugh. F and Steve. Scriggins? I think it's Scriggins. F and Steve Scriggins. <laughs> oh. Did you just actually make a fart noise? <laughs> <laughs> you ladies lost or something? Deal's a deal, Steve. I ain't forgot. Where is it then? In the back. I remember you, you know. 
I bet I, I bet everyone remembers you. That's how to spell out a fart noise. Is that the case? Is that how it is? Pfft. Oh, that's not. I was about to say blue. Am I learning new things today? That teacher sue you yet? What are you doing here? Oh no, we're we're sassy as fuck. This Steve man is nothing. Also, now I'm confused. Is Greg male or female? I'm pretty sure Greg is male. But, like, now he's saying ladies, and I know that that's kind of the just, like, hey, ladies, you know, like, no matter what gender you are, it's always, like, ladies. Sass the Steve. I will in one moment, Flossie. I need to know. No, I don't want any information. I just want to know. Angus's boyfriend. Okay. Greg is is male presenting at least. Okay. That answers all my questions. So this Steve guy is just a jackass. <laughs> Pardon my language. Did that teacher sue you yet? Or at least beat you up uh, in a parking lot. Which teacher? The one you locked in a closet during longest night, uh, longest night break. Psh, that guy couldn't even go in. That guy can't even go in small rooms now. He was always a wuss. Just needed someone to bring it out. Oh my God, Steve is an asshole. Oh my God, to heck with this frickin' sob. Okay, well, sorry, okay, well, can we get on the, with this? Hot dog. Oh, you can't even jump here. You just gotta walk. Hot dog. Hot dog. You know what, I'm just gonna wander. I'm just gonna see what's up. I know I'm supposed to talk to someone probably, but we're just gonna walk. Please tell me we can open this door. No! But there was a scary frog there in the corner for just a moment. <gasps> Cobalt! He's back at it again with the stretches and the hydrates. I'll get it in one second. Thank you very much. Oh, also Cobalt! Um, wait. Maybe my memory's failing me. You had a stream recently that you couldn't make, right? I don't remember if this is true or not. What I just want to say is I hope that things are going well, and if they weren't going well that day, I hope that they are getting better now, whatever it might be. That's unfortunately all I remember. Because I'm really bad at memory. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, this still works sometimes? A... You know Beth uh, Holstead? Yeah. She was in here six months ago, and she swears it talked. Wah! Didn't even have to push the button. But I don't know how much stake I put in that. You know Beth. Kinda? And there's a lot of glue in here. I guess. Oh god. What did we get ourselves into? Yeah, Tuesday. Things are going well. Thanks, though. No, Blue. Cobalt is saying that he didn't get to stream Tuesday. And I was doing a heckin' worry. And by heckin' worry, I mean a minor worry. Hey, Cooks, how's it going? How was, uh, how was Fortnite? With the boys? Did you have a good time? Y yes, you're deaf to words. Ab absolutely, Blue. And no, you're good. But yes, uh, hydrate. I am intensely sleep deprived, Cooks, and I'm just trying to make it to the, see if I can make it to the two hour mark. And to the right. And to the left. And back. And shake out the wrists. Ah. 
Also, I played a little bit more Nordland or Norland uh, this morning because I was like, well, I'm not going to be able to do anything. So, like, let's just play that a little bit. And, like, yeah, it's still super fun. It has some difficulties that I wasn't prepared for. And also, then at one point, my wife she was seduced by another man. And I exiled him from my town. And he was like, bah, 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 bah. and then my wife was all like, I'm not very loyal because I've been seduced. And I'm just like, lady... Go repent for your sins. And she's like, I'm going to go repent for my sins to the bishop. But I've been seduced. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I don't trust you. One of your traits is poisoner. Which means that you're dangerous. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is you could use her to poison somebody. So I tried to have her poison the guy who seduced her. But because she was seduced, her loyalty was too low to do that for me. And I was like, damn it! Oh, the sweet justice that that would have been. <laughs> Sadly, that didn't happen. So I just exiled the guy instead. And he was like, all right, I'll be out of my your way then. Bip, 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 bip. So yeah, summary, pretty fun game. I look forward to its release and seeing where it goes because I'll probably put some hours into it. But yeah, that's it, I'm sorry. And last night was fun. Went downhill at the end, a uh, silly fun downhill. Oh no, Cooks, what happened? Things got wacky, wacky in what regard? Were you guys just trying to do crazy 360 no scope shots and stuff like that? We just having a good time? All right. God damn it! What? Someone locked the effing door! God damn it, I bet it was Beth. Or Levy. Or the train trash. So. Arg! They better not have stolen anything. From the abandoned grocery store. With the unlocked doors. What's behind? What's behind this door anyway? Could probably bust it open. Or I could go get my lockpick stuff. <gasps> I bet there's like a key or something. Whatever. You're a freaking idiot, Steve. Can I maybe find a key somewhere? Greg, what are you doing? I'm trying to find something to help uh, bust down the door. Cool. I'm looking for a key because I'm smarter. <laughs> uh huh. But I get to hit things. Hmm. Crap. <gasps> I do see a key. Oh, wait. Do I gotta jump on the scaffolding? Oh, I see it. I'm seeing the game here. Hup, hup, hup. No! Oh, you gotta jump like right at the end. Oh, wait a second. Can you jump on top of the... Am I just bad? I'm just bad. There it is. No wonder this place went uh, went under. People leaving keys all over the place. Don't mind if I do. Found some keys. I am the key master. Obviously. I will unlock your ass. <laughs> yeah, I heard that about you. It sounds like a metal door, you psychos! Yo, idiot, stop kicking before you break a, break your femurs or something. I'm not an idiot. Yeah, sorry. Hey, idiot and Greg, stop kicking. I got keys. Where'd you get them? Office? Up there. No wonder this place went under. 
Leaving keys all over the place. That's exactly what I thought. I liked everything about that. <laughs> I'm upset that we thought, like, the exact same words. I thought it better. What just... What just... Oh, Steve needs to just be thrown into a river. Not to drown, just to be... Just to suffer the obnoxiousness of cold water suddenly. Why are we doing crimes with this guy? Ugh. Why did it have to be Steve? He had an inn. What inn? I broke the front door. Good God. Wait, is there further? I presume that's the end. Yeah. Steve needs to unlock his ass. Yeah, so that he can get that stick out of it. Oh, God. These guys. I was both terrified and super into these things. When they put them out front, they moved. They look so tiny when they're in pieces. I don't know, man. They still look pretty big. We're smaller in pieces, too. What? I mean, he doesn't really have a stick up his ass. He's just... He's just... He's just... Yeah. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We're small in, in pieces, too. Too real. I hope you get chopped up by a chopper. I hope you get chopped up by a blunt chopper. You two are weird. Okay, we're stealing one of these things. Is it even stealing? It's better if we think of it as stealing. Oh, sorry. It's better if we think of it as stealing. Cool. Arg! Arg? What? Arg? Arg! Are you okay? Dude, what? No, are you okay? Arg! Dude, what? I can't pick. They all look great. You get one. That's the deal. Hurry up. Oh, let me pick, let me pick. Sure. Oh, no. Chat. Because he's spooky. Sorry. <laughs> Nicely done, Blue. All right, we're putting up another poll. This time, none of the shenanigans. Which head? Frog. I think it's a frog. Pig. Donkey. And we're going to allow points for one minute. There you go. Fight amongst yourselves while we listen to this music. Just gonna bounce and nod along to the music for the funsies. Oh no, somebody in the apartment is cooking something delicious. I'm under attack by delicious smells. Damn it. We'll be like, let them fight. Yeah, use your points. I don't have enough places for people to use points, so this is the perfect opportunity for people to use points. To just go full warfare on each other. I'm sure a couple of you guys have like... Like, dozens of K worth of points, so. What a good time to fight. Ooh, Flossy is just like, it's mine. Well. I'm sorry, Blue. But Flossy fought for it. So pig it is. Pretty cool pig. Yeah, pretty cool, all right. He didn't used to hold like, didn't he used to hold like sausage links or something? Yeah, that's messed up. Eating his own kind or her own kind, whatever PC police. 
PC yourself into traffic, Steve. May knows what's up. May knows what's up. She knows what's up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like this. Anyway. Cannibal pig, man. Cannibal pig. Oh, we have to look at them first. Okay. Perfect. This is wonderful. I'm sorry I, I'm, I'm sorry I got so heated there just now. Old greenie here. I used to have dreams about this thing. Sex dreams, probably. Bet you could get, uh, best you could get. Probably. Do frogs even have sex? Nah, they just like, uh, they just got like eggs or something. You two are really, really dumb. Jeez. Why does she get, why does she get to pick? Why is this such a thing? This is taking forever. <laughs> okay, I need to remember how to say his name. Scriggins, that's it. Scriggins, bite my entire ass. <laughs> what? Go legally brain dead. <laughs> From lack of oxygen, due to choking on my entire ass. <laughs> I, I, what? Classic. That's right, Steve, classic. Oh my god, can we just get this done already? Wait a second, this isn't a donkey, this is a rabbit! It has to be. Also, I apologize for that. It has the two front buck teeth. That's really associated with rabbits. That's the donkey. We're about to find out. God, I remember these being less horrifying. They were tall then. Could, couldn't see their faces. I gotta look at your... Uh, you ladies' faces. Here, here, here. Ugh. I think this one's kind of cute. Aw, oh, he thinks it's cute. Steve, you are a disease. <laughs> Ugh, which one? I'm bad at decisions that actually mean something. You picked uh, uh, picked out the tux we wore for junior prom. Oh yeah, I'm pretty good at it. Remember how Tim uh, Whitley rode those uh, rode that giant tractor into homecoming? Totally. So did you pick? Give me a second. Totally did. We don't even get to know. Oh, we probably get to know, Blue. We're probably going to learn right now. Oh, cool. Okay, kids, we're going to go with... Actually, no, I'm not sure yet. Frog head, pig head, rabbit head. It was the nose and the teeth that gave it away for me. I mean, you don't have to worry about it, Blue, because, uh... Yeah, robot piggy. Finally. God damn. Oh, shut up, Steve. You know what? I ain't carrying nothing. See ya, ladies. Steve! Get found dead, punks. <laughs> he says punks like it's a bad thing. Sorry, he says punks like it's a bad thing. I don't care. He's scum and a criminal. And anyway, I think he's been bad news from the start. Hmm, yes. What deal did you make with him? He's allowed to shoplift whenever he wants from the scum while I, uh, from the snack falcon while I'm working. See? Criminal all the way. Some people. So should we just smash a window to get out of here? <laughs> oh god, I still smell the glue. 
my neighbors are going to think we're on drugs <laughs> or just like gluing the hell out of uh, uh, out of some shit okay so we're really carrying uh, this thing up the stairs this is gonna be great you are so gonna die <laughs> you're gonna get squished like a pancake <laughs> but seriously don't kill me <laughs> Watch me, and I'll give you the signals. Roger, roger. I can't believe they're making this a minigame. What? It told me to! Oh my god, that fucking game! The fuck you game! Fuck you! Fuck you! I'm so mad! I'm swearing too much, I'm sorry. Twitch is gonna delete my channel because I'm swearing so much. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was kinda awesome. I'm glad you didn't get killed. I would totally haunt this entire stairwell. Ready to go? Yep. And demonetized. No, Brian, say it ain't so. Wait, I don't under I don't understand. But I hit that button last time. And this I presumed I wasn't Oh my god, I'm sorry. It's it's cool. I think I was praying something. Oh my fucking god, I'm so mad right now. I don't know what button I'm supposed to push. Because I pushed the button last time and it told me to go F myself. Ah, crap. Let's go. Alright, fine. And now it works! I'm so mad. Hello, Ling. How's it going? Sorry, I'm very mad at the game right now because it because it's not a false arrow, but it lied to me. How's it going, Ling? How was your stream? I think you wait. Did you stream today? I don't remember. Ling, I'm really tired. Oh, you too, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you did stream. Okay. I'm uh, having a hard time remembering things right now. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. I know, right? Remember, like, I worked a whole day before doing this. You sit on your ass all day, I bet. Only part of it. I stand a lot. All right, here we go. My arms are dead, dude. My entire body is dead, dude. Ugh. Let's get this over with. All right. We're going to one-shot this. You guys will see. Sorry, I'm going to be really focused right now. What? I'm so upset right now. You make me go backwards, game. Okay. Progress. I'm gonna have to look up how to fix this thing. Angus isn't back till tomorrow night. And I'll, I'll think about it later. Wanna go get some food? Hells yes! Hey, Riders of Satellite, how's it going? Of Satellites. Satellites, there's an S at the end. How's it going, my dude? Thanks for stopping by. Why would they make you walk backwards? Because it's a it's a mean, mean game full of mean, mean options, Brian. <laughs> Greg needs room to get a grip. <laughs> 
Too bad you didn't snap your spine. Too bad your arms didn't get ripped off. Too bad you weren't horribly disfigured. Too bad you didn't fall and break your teeth on a stair. Too bad you didn't get trapped under the box. Too... Not finished. And then burned alive in a building fire. Too bad you didn't crawl into a vent and escape the fire and get cooked. Ah, good times. I still smell glue! Think about, uh, think about something else. I can't. I think I'm high from the glue. Think about pierogi. I think that's pierogies, right? No, pi yeah, pierogies. They have pierog. Uh, they have pierogies when you. Uh, they have pierogies when you were at school. This one church in town would sell them during whatever holiday. You don't suck. Oh, well, thank you, riders. That's very appreciated. Uh, fest of. Uh, perpetual pierogies. Yo, dude. What? Open your mouth. Why? Trust me. True friendship, or true friendship it is. Oh god, what's about to happen? Alright. Stay just like that. Okay. Okay. God. No! Ah, my face! Alright, we got this. We got this one. Yeet! Oh, no! <laughs> ah, my face! <laughs> no, no. This one. We got, we got this one. This is the one, boys. <laughs> ah, my face! Maybe we're just using the wrong one. Maybe we're just using the wrong one. This is the one. This is the one. You guys will see. You'll all see. Oh! Um, nom 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 nom. <laughs> hey, Psycho Chick. How's it going? I'm not doing all right. How are you? All right. We need to get at least one more in there. Here we go. Welcome. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. That's very kind of you. All right. All right, all right, all right. For all the beans. <laughs> oh, God, it burns. <laughs> oh, God, that's a spicy one. I hit them with a spicy one. Oh, God. Yes. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> oh. I'm too good at this. I'm too gosh darn good at this. Uh-oh. Not good at that one, though. <laughs> my face oh god too early <laughs> out of pierogies dang you know a majority of these attempts hit me directly in the face sorry about that <laughs> head is pounding but all good oh I'm sorry to hear that uh would probably recommend I guess uh if you can take something for it like an ibuprofen would probably be good. As well as drinking some water and not looking too much at light, unfortunately. Uh, am in class break. Reading subtitles. Hello, Jam Jam. You missed us throwing a bunch of pierogies at Greg. Wah! <laughs> yeah, got the timing that time. Estimation. Come on, riders. I basically nailed all of those. Basically nailed all of those. I think I might be sick. True friendship. Letting your friend make you sick. True bros. True bros. I feel like this is the first time we've got to, uh, we've just gotten to hang out. How's it feel? I mean, I'm really sore and I smell like guru. <laughs> Still high on glue, it seems. I mean, this is how I would respond. You know, I mean, I'm very sore and I smell like glue. Yeah, I'm going to take an hour long shower when I get home. So how have things been? Uh, good. Weird seeing you with a regular job. That you, like, go to. Yeah, working, working on the plan. The plan? Yeah, I got plans too. No, 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 no. We're asking about them right now. You can call me Psycho or Chick or Psycho Chick. We'll respond to all of the above. That's appreciated. Uh, I think Psycho might be fun. 
if you're down with that. You say yes, so we'll go with Psycho for now. Or Psycho C. Oh, no, that's too complicated. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am very... I am very underslept right now. <laughs> the plan. Bright Harbor. Bright Harbor? Yeah, we're gonna uh we're gonna move to Bright Harbor. When? Since when? No, when? I think it's spring. That's like a few months away. Yeah. Oh. You should come visit when we get settled in. Stinky note. Jam jam. One moment. While I get defeated over here. And a wink. I'll get to the wink in one second. Perfect. We got him. Bam. Get winked on, nerds. Wait, Jam Jam got translated to Dam? Oh, well, now we just got Jam. 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 I have a very specific... Please put the sticky note over one eye that you will keep open when you wait. What? So both your eyes are cut. What? A okay, I'll do it, but only this once. I'm going to wink with that eye, so we're going to do this. Is this what you want? Is this what you want? Pillow throws. I'm sorry. I was just redeeming a request. Thanks, Will. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Uh, you could come visit when we settle in. Why Bright Harbor? Isn't Bright Harbor, like, really expensive? Hmm. Why Bright Harbor? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, May, it's so cool. Uh, we visited in the summer. There's, like, record stores and weird bars, and everyone's cool and, like, free. Oh, that's where I got my tattoo. What? Yeah. Sheep. Is that a sheep? Yep. Why a sheep? The tattoo guy was was like all the way hot, and didn't and it didn't even hurt. You have a tattoo. You're moving to Bright Harbor. Yeah. Oh, what's wrong? Nothing. How long do you think you're staying in town? Uh, I don't know. How long going to move to? No, 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 no. We don't know. We have no idea what's up. I'll help you pick somewhere, uh, somewhere out. Yeah. It was really great hanging out with you tonight. I've been really bored lately. Haven't done a crime in a long time. Why? Angus, the plan. Uh, can't go to Bright Harbor if I get caught or fired. You're all adult now. I'm... I'm bona fide. I'm gonna go, I think. Good call. We need to declue. I think we stunk up the diner. Eh, hey, wouldn't be the first time. I missed you. You too, bro. Aww. No problem, riders. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have yourself a great rest of your night. I got this game... Uh, on my favorites, uh, when I when I tapped at you with the first on the list. Oh snap! That's either shocking or really cool, and I don't know which one, but that's neat regardless. Oh, it's Dad. Is Mom here too? No, Mom is never here. Have you ever noticed that you don't see Mom and Dad in the same room? What's up with that? <laughs> Sup, Dad? Uh, heard you had a wild time last night. I didn't drink. It works better if you let me accuse you first. Right. Here's my hangover cure. Not drinking the night before. Wow, hold on, let me write that down. <laughs> hey, Luna, how's it going? Thank you so much for stopping by. Your favorite cereal... I've definitely read that as favorite serial killer and was just like, I'm very fascinated and want to know more about this deaf killer. Heck yeah. 
with a killer smile. Bam. Nailed it. I slay all day. I'm glad we were on the same page. <laughs> it's complicated, I know. Wait, no, we gotta know more. What did you do tonight? Um, I helped Greg move some stuff. Look at what a good friend you are. Helping someone move is quite a gesture. Well, I've been, we've been best friends since, like, forever. So I feel like we, uh, we're well past that point. I am really, really sore, though. Sometimes you gotta get sore for friends. It's time for tea. Oh, Luna, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of you right now, because I'm incapable uh, of drinking tea at the moment because it's too warm. Like, drinking something hot right now would be a nightmare. I'm going to wait for, like, two more hours until it starts getting cold, and then I'm going to consume the heck out of tea. But here's the real question, though, uh, Luna. What tea are you drinking? The most important question of all. Got to have cold tea in the fridge is back up. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of cold tea. I like my tea hot, especially if you can, like, dip cookies in it. Depending on the tea, some cookies or some some tea, you definitely can't dip cookies into it. It just doesn't work. But like, ooh, or um, like an Earl Grey or an Orange Pico go really, really well with like chocolate drinks. Or sorry, with like chocolate anything. So like little pieces of chocolate or like truffles or something like that. Mix those two together because you get the sweet and then you add the bitterness of like the black tea, and it's just like, oh, what a lovely mixture. Now, well, you see, sir, I was thinking about making a London fog, because I'm a fancy witch. <laughs> I don't know what London fog is. Hold on, I need to actually Google that. London fog. London fog is... A latte. Oh, it's a fancy tea. Oh, it's an Earl Grey latte. Ooh, that's actually kind of neat. Well, let me see. Uh, I'm not drinking tea at 6. <laughs> it is 6.30, so I'm drinking coffee. Hell yeah, psycho. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Uh, you can go either way with tea, hot or cold. Or I can go either way with tea, hot or, hot or cold. Although for cold tea, I go towards Arizona iced tea. That's a pretty common one, Brian. So that's a pretty reasonable statement. Just like, yeah, why why fix what ain't broken, you know? Oh no, you two know each other. <laughs> I was like, man, Jam Jam is being very friendly with Luna. And then all of a sudden, boom. Oh, no. They're friends. <laughs> I have ADHD. Coffee helps me chill. I do as well, actually, Psycho. I don't use caffeine because I, I don't know. I've managed to, like, figure out a method to zen myself for the most part. But... I totally understand what you, what you mean, though. Like, where it's just like, nah, we need, we need some caffeine in our system just to boom, tell me. I, like, it's not something that I can explain. It's just like a weird thing that I've just forced myself into. Where it's just like, nah, you just need to come. I think it's basically I've just had a, many periods of my life where everybody was just like, will you just calm the heck down? And eventually I just went, okay. I think is the best way to describe it. <laughs> no, Will, no. <laughs> well, I am also incredibly sleep deprived right now. So, and also Cobalt, thank you so much for the stuffs. Stay chaotic. Is that considered chaotic? <laughs> But thank you for the, the stretch and the hydrate. 
then I'm going to let you play your game. I'm going to get tea. Enjoy your tea, Luna. And thank you so much for stopping by. The chaos is too much. Yeah, I'm sure. And we stretch to the right. And we stretch to the left. And we stretch back. And we shake out our wrists. Thank you, Cobalt, for both the redeems. Always appreciated. Been drinking coffee for 29 years. God damn. I unfortunately don't like the taste of coffee, so I never got into into the caffeine thing. I think that's probably also why it happened. I never, like, did the caffeine thing, so I just, I don't know. I had to, I guess, figure out different ways. It is fascinating, though, right, that, like, for, like, people with ADHD, it's just like, yeah, hammer down some caffeine so that you can, like, zen. Like, I do know that coffee puts me to sleep. Like, it's very, um... I started drinking coffee since I was four. Blue, that is... That's so young. Oh my god, I'm worried about you. Coffee, more like cough four. <laughs> Boo. Boo. <laughs> I'm gonna keep talking to dad. Hey dad, would you mind moving the boxes in the crawl space? Well, what have you done for... Sorry, well, what have you done for me lately? Been an excellent daughter. Been a credit to this family. Nah, been an excellent daughter. That doesn't count. Well, would you watch some TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Nah, I'm heading to bed. No, 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 no. We gotta at least give him this. Up, up. We're watching... Uh, Garbo and Mel... Uh, Malo. Malloy? Nice. I can never keep up with these guys. They're always way too fast. Welcome back, folks. Do I actually get to hit? Oh, hell of a show tonight. Say, uh, Malloy. Malloy, yes, Garbo? Ever got the feeling that disaster's right around the corner? Sure do, right before we started every show. You superstitious Garbo? This is just John and John. Is it though, Blue? My doctor was like, keep giving it to her. <laughs> Grandfather gives child uh, gives child coffee. Doctor, yeah, it's about right. <laughs> Let's keep doing that. And not anymore. What happened? I broke every mirror I ever owned. And now I'm lucky enough to never have to look at this mug. <laughs> but what about the rest of us? What? That's a... That's a whoopa? What the heck is a whoopa? I don't understand. Coming up next, Garbo and I join a cult. That was very confusing, thank you. No more talk with dad? No? Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, I want this. God, this thing is intense. Weird how big clocks are like luxury furniture right now. Wait, we've read this before. Ever since we had clocks and the internet on it. Like, having something big like this only does one thing is like a statement or something. Well, Dad hasn't moved the boxes yet. We know that. And we know what she's gonna say about it. So. Oop. Any new things here? No? We start the day anew? I guess we do. All right. Check the internet. Oh, we got multiple messages. Hey, what did you end up doing tonight? Uh, watched a third of a season of Bleak, of Bleak Domination. Oh, wow, I like that show. I'm watching it for the first time. Nice, I've seen all of it. Well, don't spoil it. What episode are you on? Season one, episode four. Oh, crap. Okay. We'll talk about it later. Sounds good. Gotta get back to watching it now. Enjoy! 
Good night. Okay, so I think this is B. So who the hell is it? Who the heck is this then? Who's the rock? Hey, dude, my entire muscles are uh, my entire muscles are gonna hate you forever. Five, six, ever, Eve. Dude, my muscles hate me enough for the both of us. I am so angry at gravity right now. Let's kill gravity. What's gravity done for me lately? Hurt all our muscles. Okay, I'm gonna go lay uh, lay on my bed and probably die. Or and die, probably. Sorry. I goofed. Uh, I'm already dead. This is the robot head speaking. Oh my god. I know where you live and what you said. Oh my god, too scared. Okay, good night. <laughs> Dang it, I get nothing else. And I don't want to play the Demon Tower game. I can't do that to you guys. Wim wim. I think grandfather clocks are very pretty and useless. Um, my Opa and Oma have one. And that thing is loud. But it has such a nice sound to it. Maybe this is just like because it reminds me of childhood. But, you know, it's got that like... Bum, 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 bum. And then it would chime the hours. So, bum, bum, and just however many it was. I don't remember exactly when it would always do it, because I don't think it was every hour. Do they all sound the same? I'm not sure, honestly. One bottle, and hello, Bells! One bottle of Mountain Dew has enough caffeine for three coffees. That sounds about right. That sounds like a Mountain Dew thing. All right, we're gonna go take a snooze. Bedtime? Yes. And we'll sound exactly the same. Could just be that that was just the thing that they would do. Oh, we're in the dream world once more. And we can jump higher. Oh. Well, it clearly wants me to go to the left. Oh, but like all the lights turn. Hello? Can I jump up there? Wait, what? What did I jump on? Oh no. I played this game too, uh, too many times to count. Well, I hope that that means that it's a good game. Oh wait, I wanna go the other way first. I don't think I want to go this way, because I want to turn on the other. Oh, God. No, we're going to go turn on the other lights first. We need lights. Lights, please. Thank you. Oh. I presume I can't go further this way. No, I cannot. There's another light. Oh, and here's the end of the thing. Here's the end of the cable. There's scary birds. Get out of here, scary birds. Oh, there's the murderer boy. Oh, there's actually a lot of lights around here. I presume this is another. Yeah. another one. Oh my god, an accordion. I wish that I knew how to play the accordion. I think that would be a cool thing to learn. Even if it's old as hell at this point. You know what path to get to go down? It's different every time? Yeah! I look forward to seeing where we end up where we end up being by the end of it. I'm afraid to fall. Light, 
and music. Oh yeah. I presume I need to go back to the beginning. Yeah, it's the little pillars. Uh-oh. Oh, hello. Giant mechanical bear? You look like a bear. Well, that was something. I don't know if I know what that something was. But it was definitely something. But um turn We but um turned up a storm over here. Do we have messages? Oh, we do. Hey. I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep, that's my life right now. Morning. I'm somehow even more sore. This is bullshit. I'm working today. Angus is out of town and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. I think we're making friends. Ooh, now we get to see though. The boxes. Yeah, Dad put them here, I bet. He should move them. It's only fair. Dang it. I want to know what's beyond the boxes. I wonder how old this thing is. Hop. Bird. What are you even thinking about in there? Book notes? Yeah, this bookshelf is like the ghost of Granddad. Hanging out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost. Like his skeleton. Posture check received. Straightening up. <laughs> Ugh, I made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Oh, hmm. There's like something written inside this book cover. Oh, we've seen this before. I just don't know what it means. This is like, what is this? Oh wait, did we not write this before? Did I miss something last time? Wait. I'm confused. Hold on. We got more things. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Where is that? Yeah, here it is. Granddad didn't read out of this. He, like, recited it. Okay, no. We've had this dialogue before. Miss you, dude. Pretty sure we got the majority, if not all of them. Mom has to be in the kitchen, though, right? It's one of the, con the consistencies of the game. Good morning. Um, did you f uh, did you feel it last night? No. What? There was a big sinkhole. Uh, there was a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh, are we still getting those? I didn't think those ever. I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth. And uh, and on a fl and on a floodplain. Oh, weird. I don't. Uh, I didn't want to. Uh, I don't want you over there nosing ar around it. I guarantee you I won't. I have seen sinkholes. Not interested at all? Mom, they're just holes in the ground. Uh, get back to me when one of them small swallows a house or something. We'll go together if that- we'll go see it together if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? Hang out with Greg. What did you do? Uh, went to the grocery store. That sounds exciting. Got anything special? Oh boy. Sure did. Well, stop by the church uh, if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm-hmm. Bye, sweetie. Oh, we do get to talk again. I have played it before, Psycho, but I have no recollection of it whatsoever. So, it might as well be a brand new playthrough. Or it might as well be, like, a fresh playthrough, because I have no recollection of it in any way, shape, or form. Now that you've been home for a few days... Yeah? Have you thought about getting a job? Well, gotta go, Mom. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Wait, is it gonna be like that the whole time? <laughs> Wait, 
Are there more? Okay, no, we, we, we reached the end. I can help if you need advice. That's appreciated. At the moment, I don't think I need any advice, just because it's like... <gasps> Ooh, rain. Like, I think at the moment, everything is pretty self-explanatory. Oh, man, I love the fog. The fog and the rain and the mist. My favorite times of the day. Yum. He's not on his roof today. Well, then we go down. May Borowski. Uh, Selmers? Now, we all know how important it is to look our best. What? Our appearance is the first and sometimes last impression we make. Selmers, did you join a cult? Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Oh, okay. Of the... Salven or Salvin family of products. Salvin, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. Are you giving that pitch to everyone? Have you sold anything yet? Sold some to my mom. And to Abby Krang Kranglers? I think it's Kranglers. Miss Kranglers' daughter? Granddaughter. I ran into her at the laundry mat over by the school. One time, Greg got locked inside one of the top off dryers. Did he die? He wanted me to start it, but I chickened out. <laughs> he definitely would have died. Tell him that. He's still mad. <laughs> Want to hear a poem? Nah, maybe another time. No, 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 no. We always say... Hey, Avatar, how's it going? Sometimes, I think, and start to sink. Oh, no. There's more. Sorry. When I remember, it's October. Oh, oct oct October. I co I combine my two favorite months. Fall is really nice. It's the best. Days are gonna start getting shorter soon. It makes me sad. I like it. I love the fall, but I hate the dark. I like it. You sure do. <laughs> I saw a raccoon. Where? Up in the the town cemetery. It was a big and cool. We're having really good conversations right now. By the way, Blue, have you figured out what this game is yet? My cat doesn't like folks on the porch. No? That's a shame. No, I haven't. What is it? It's a game, Blue? Oh, sorry, Mr. Squirrel. Nothing is happening. So much is happening, Blue. All this dialogue and character building and hanging out with people. Apologies for that squeak, potentially. Wait. I can't believe they kept this open. Historical note, I guess. Hydrate. I can do that. Thank you so much, uh, Psycho. I think it's just because the old people like uh, the pierogi stand. Never underestimate the power of old people to, to get state funding. Alright. Why is there an arm on the ground? When does it turn dark? It turns dark, right? I can't tell you that, Blue, because I don't know. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious per uh, pretzel. Alright, we're going to get the pretzel this time. I don't trust anything. I, I need to just be forever. How does how does he not notice? <laughs> I am the bandit queen. The hand is shaking so relatable. <laughs> stole a pretzel 
That's pretty cool. Alright, which now means we have to go deliver the pretzel. Oh god, I'm not talking to the teens again. That was very uncomfortable last time. I'm too old for the teens. Now it tastes like, but, but now it tastes like Pocket. What's wrong with Pocket, Flossie? It's wet and I'm cold. The smelters wouldn't say that. Hell no, smelters play in any weather. Come rain or come shine, it's always smelter weather. I don't think those two even know each other's name. <laughs> I think they're at that kind of a situation. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, do you guys even know who the other person is? Nah. Right, Angus isn't at his station today. And I gotta get above, which I don't think is in this direction. Oh, who are you? Excuse me. Yeah? I'm looking for the park store. You just missed it. What? You've got an accent. Where are you from? Russia. Oh, Russia. Okay, we we give him accent as best I can. How did you end up all the way out here? I'm hiking the Great Eastern Dekelosos de de Trail. Oh, wow. How's that? Oh, wow. How's that? It is hard, but beautiful. <laughs> it goes through like six states, right? I lost count. I can't imagine walking that far. My guide says there is park store here? It's gone. Used to be right here. But now, uh, there's a snack falcon. Do you know where I can get supplies? I mean, snack falcon, dude. I guess I can find something in there. Yeah, man, they got all kinds of cool stuff. Probably all perishables, though. Hmm. Uh, isn't everything perishable? Uh, we're all going to per- we're all going to perish. Everything is going to perish. <laughs> but yeah, they got granola bars, I think. Spasibo, oh, spasibo! There we go. Tried. What's spasibo? Thanks! Oh, Russian. We learned some words today! <laughs> Thank you, Psycho! <laughs> I'm not very good at accents, but I try from time to time. All the soil and the sand. Why is there soil and sand in their pockets, though, Flossie? We're all going to perish. Speak for yourself, Jam Jam. Everybody goes eventually. Unless you're trying to quote, like, one of those old, one of those, like, Songs from, like, the 2000s, you know, like, we were dreamers, and we were never gonna die. Okay, I can't make the jump from here, so I must have to go to other places. I'm built different. <laughs> Wait, can I get up there? No, I can't get up there. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Noise and stuff. This guy's just straight zooming. He never stops zooming. He's a champion. Oh, the light is open now. Wait. Oh. Hoop. 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 Am I going to get yelled at again? I can't remember if that's here or not. Ruff, 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 ruff. Ruff, 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 ruff. Yes, dog. I am in your space, causing havoc. I think it's in here. When you want to say that you're going to a church's, we're all going to. <laughs> I'm just clapping for your joke right now, Avatar. You've done well. All right, rap babies. It's good eatin's time. All right, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Why are you guys so complicated? There we go. There we go. Wow, you're hungry. 
very hungry. I guess I'm your mom now, right? I don't know if I'm ready to be a mom. <laughs> we did it. We gave the babels some some consumables. We did it. We did the bare minimum to taking care of children. Eat this. And the child goes, hum, and you go. I think I did it. I think I'm ready to be a parent. Except not, because I would rather not be a parent. I do not have the responsibility to be a parent. <gasps> it's Buddy again. All right, we'll talk to this guy, and then we're probably going to tap for the night. Hey. Hey. All right, he's supposed to be very anxious. Hey. Want to sit? Uh, going to sit if that's cool. It's cool. What you doing? Drawing. Oh, what you drawing? You know how in a movie, like, a knife will go through someone's eye? Oh boy, do I ever. I like designing an effect. Uh, I like designing an effect and makeup for that. Fake eye. I'm working on a horror movie. You're gonna make a horror movie? That's so rad. Yeah, definitely. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna make it yet, but... I mean, someday I would like to direct it and write and do the makeup. I have a really good scream, too. Really? Yeah! <laughs> have a good night, Brian. Thank you so much for stopping by. I want to be like... I want it to, like, go to, like, horror movie school. I think they have those. They have those? I'm sorry. I tried my best. I'm trying to bring authenticity to the, to the role that I'm playing. I think they have those. Oh yeah, they're really cool. I always, I always know, uh, I already know how to make fake blood and body parts. Sorry, it's probably boring. How in the world could that possibly be boring? I know like all of them. Body parts? Horror movies. Each one? A lot of them. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I gotta go. See ya. Later. I know you can get up there. Got it. Not important. I just want to hang out with the cat. Oh, can't hang out with the cat. <laughs> Thank you, Avatar. <laughs> Ooh, look at it spin. Spin, my precious baby. Okay, or quit. Whatever, it's fine. All right, everybody. We're going to do the tap outs here because I am fading right now. Ah, hello, Jade. You came at an interesting time. We are just tapping out for the night. Strope baffle. <laughs> ah. I know how to make an entrance. You're faded. I'm faded. That's probably true. I'm past my prime, as some might say. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I already know who we're going to raid. So we're going to do a nice, quick dash over there, because that's what we're doing. All right, everybody. Oh, no, I take it back. All right. So, uh, I think it was socials. Boom. Twitter, YouTube, VODs, ASMR. That's it. If you guys are interested in that, there you go. Thank you for the five seconds of stream. I saw. I'm sorry, Jade. We are going to go ahead and raid Kajimaju. He is currently playing Final Fantasy 16. If you do not wish for spoilers, then by all means, you know, tap on out for the night. Go to a different stream. Totally cool. Just appreciate having you here for the time being. All right. Boom. Almost spelled it wrong. Boom. There you go. If you are subscribed, please use the top raid message. If you are not subscribed, please use the bottom raid message. I want to watch Kaiju streams too, so that's good. Well, there you go. We figured it out together, uh, Jade. We got it all sorted out. All right, everybody. Gonna do a quick outro, and then we're gonna zoom on off. But thank you so much for all stopping by. Whether you were chatting, whether you were lurking, whether you just popped in and out for a second, know that you are super appreciated. Hope that you guys are having a great day, afternoon, evening, or night, whatever time it might happen to be for you. Hope that you guys are taking care of yourselves. Hope that you are drinking plenty of water. And when you finally do sleep, whatever time that might happen to be for you, hope that you guys have a very restful sleep. 
I will see you guys over at Kaju's, and I will see you bedheads and sleepy breads next time for the next sleepover, which is Saturday when we're going to be doing art. I hope to see you there. Farewell for now.